Hey, we're talking free and cheap in St. Louis. This is John and Amy with Trips, Places, and Fun. And we're going to be talking about all things free and cheap to do for fun in St. Louis. And I tell you what, St. Louis is an incredible place to visit. And there's lots to do for free and cheap. Let's go. crazy in there just so many tunnels to explore a seven story slide there's rooftop action going on sometimes later not today but outdoor stuff just you can get lost in there and it's all this stuff that has been kind of recycled to make this amazing incredible fun place to play and learn and so the, the price here is $20 a person so again not free but definitely a great value because you could spend all day here. $120. The meeting place when someone gets lost or abandoned is downstairs. So I found the 120 bucks and I went to the front desk and I let them know that if there's anybody looking or they've lost money and they're looking for it, if they tell me how much it is and it's correct, I will give it to them if they call me before we leave. National Park. Now this is free just to get on the grounds. You might have to pay for parking, 
but you can walk around and see how just how giant this arch is. It's so much bigger in person. But there is a bit of an extra fee to go up to the top, which we are about to do. Can't wait to show you that. Okay, girls, we're getting ready to go to the top of the St. Louis Arch. To the top. We're getting ready to load in our little pod. Are you excited? No. <laughs> I was a little nervous. Okay, we are in our tram. There's like this little, I don't know, four foot tall pod. It's got, it seats five people. Can you see me? <laughs> clicking noises on the way up are good because these pods kind of move with the arch so that it makes you feel upright so that you're not feeling like you're going sideways so that's really ingenious you just feel it upright and your pod moves along with the slant of the arch how great is that this is really cool you can see all these pulleys and <laughs> Ella's afraid of elevators, so she's a little bit nervous about this. And John is claustrophobic, so he decided to sit this one out. But um, this is super cool. Four minutes up and three minutes down. Gravity helps you out on the way down, I think. Okay, girls, we're at the top, right? Yeah. And now we can look out these little windows, and here you can see the Mississippi River. When you're down, oh, look, down. see, there's a little boat. Probably not a little boat. It looks little from here, though. And look, look at all these great views. When you're um, down low, the windows look so small, but they're actually not that small. Look, we're 630 feet high. Oh, look at there's that old courthouse. Oh, there's a stadium. And the sun is setting. We were the last tram of the day. We got really lucky. Okay, we're back in our pod, headed back down the three minute journey back down. I kind of feel like I'm in the Jetsons. You guys ever watch the Jetsons? It feels like that in our little pod. So today we paid $17 for an adult ride to the top and $13 per child. If you just want to come on property and see the museum and look around and take pictures of the art, option and you do have to pay for parking but other than that when you get inside you have lots to explore at no cost so we're gonna go in there and the kids are gonna have a great time what about me and John and me will have a great time I <laughs> John and me and John John and I what's the rule um, it's, it's it's I it, because it, John and I will will have a great time. I will have a great time. That's you right. You wouldn't say me will have a great time. Right. I'm actually trying to teach you the rule, but oh. you're trying to teach me the rule. Oh, yeah. Okay. But you're right. Yeah. Good job. High five. Coffee high five.
You will have to pay for parking if you want to be closed, but then you get to explore all of this at no cost unless you want to upgrade to some special stuff. Reservations are required. We didn't actually know that until we got here. Thankfully, we were able to go online and we were able to get reservations right away and come in, So, but just be aware of that. You probably wanna do that in advance just in case they do sell out. There's also an adventure pass available. So the adventure pass would get you into um, the carousel. It would also let you ride this little railroad ride and it gives you a 4D movie experience. Now, if you don't wanna pay extra for that, you can enjoy the rest of the zoo for free. Is this called a railroad ride? I think <laughs> uh, I call it the train. Okay, <laughs> train ride. <laughs> so we're gonna start happy right here. This zoo is awesome, so awesome. Maybe my favorite. great thing to do for free in St. Louis, the art museum right behind me. Look at this amazing building. Now we can't show you inside because videotaping is for personal use only, but you definitely need to check it out for yourself because there's so much to see and do in there. And take a look at this map, three levels. There's mummies in there and knights in shining armor and of course lots and lots of wonderful art and all for free. Forest Park. Now you can come here and check out the Science Center and the Zoo and the Art Museum, which we've already mentioned. But there are also so many great things here just in the park itself to explore. There are streams and lakes and ecosystems. And at 1,300 acres, this park is actually bigger than Central Park. And it's considered one of the nation's greatest urban parks. So, so many great places to play and so many great things to see. So definitely check out Forest Park. Now we just wanted to mention one other thing that is great here in St. Louis to do for free that we didn't get to do because it was closed while we were here and that's Grant's Farm. So you can go to Grant's Farm. Of course, lots of animals to check out. You can see Clydesdales, horses there. Those are awesome. So if you're here when they're open, definitely go to Grant's Farm for free. Thanks for following along and learning about some free or inexpensive things to do in St. Louis, Missouri. Hey, if you know of some free or cheap things to do here that we haven't mentioned, please let us know in the comments below. And I'd like to invite you to like and subscribe. Here at TPF, we talk about Branson, Missouri, where we live. We also talk about lots of things to do in the region. Cruising, cruise news, travel news, all sorts of stuff. So please become part of the TPF family and safe travels, everyone.